got married, we uh, first house we had was a little old terraced house with a cellar kitchen at Burn Green Road. We moved from Walkley when I was ten year old. First time we'd ever had a garden when we moved to Salvi. Old, old terraced houses at Walkley had outside toilets, no bathrooms, no hot water. You know, it was luxury. <laughs> oh well, it seems like it, doesn't it? Well, my name's Mick, better known as Mick the Miner. Because I did 32 years down bit. Well, we transferred to Manton, which were a million tonner pit. And I thought I was going to be settled. And it was just like a bolt out at blue. Directors come and we were shut within a week. I had eight months out of work and then uh, I had a job going here and I got an interview and set on the same week. There's no comparison between here and Pitt. It's, it's nice to go up and come here. You know what I mean? It's easy compared to working down Pitt. Well, it's got, it picked up a hell of a lot from when, when, when we first came here, like. We only had small machines to work on when I first came here. Then we moved down to this company. They brought better machinery. We had one or two bosses worked here, and they've been and gone. It's quite an old workforce here now, yeah. Well, I've only got five years to go. That's if I, that's full retirement, like you know what I mean. I'm not thinking about stopping on. Quality means everything to us. Um, we don't mass produce. So it's not machine manufactured, it's people's skills. And if people take pride, quality is everything to them. I'm all right, yeah. So, do you want to start just by introducing yourself to uh, to us? Well. We My name's Alan Hockley. Um, I was born in Walkley, Sheffield. Uh, lived all my life in Sheffield, and worked in the spring trade virtually all my life. First started at Turton Brothers and Matthews, which is our old firm up Burton Road. And then after a couple of years, I went up to, um, some of the lads moved and they asked me if I'd go up with them to John Tonks on Penniston Road, which is now that dance studio. That were our factory. You've got people who've been on one, one company, some over 40 years, uh, dedicated to working life to making high quality springs and anti-roll bars and they're proud of what they do. I've been here about 32 years now. I was set on as a coiler from another spring firm. They set me on and I've been here ever since. I live 25 miles away. I come from a mining village and obviously the pits have closed. And where I live, if you didn't go down pit, there's nothing else. So that's one of the reasons I come to Sheffield, because you've got to prepare to travel nowadays. If you want to find work, you've got to travel. There's enough work to do at the minute, but uh, we're nice to have a bit more. Well, we're on peace, we're, we're hard on peace work, and we're not, at the minute, we're not earning no bonus. So every job has a target to do on it, you know what I mean? The more you do, the more you get. So Tom, Tom's your brother, you've been working with him together for? 30, 30 years, yeah. 30 years? Yeah. How well, we've managed it all. We've had his ups and downs. <laughs> Robert was looking for a job and I asked him about, uh, I asked these about setting him on. And he come and they set him on about two years later after I started. So you've got about 60 years experience, 
Yeah. Yeah. I was set on when I first started uh, at Turton Platts. They put me on like shot blasting. I used to be on like a shot peener, uh, working days and nights, 12 hours. And then I went from there to uh, onto Ammer, learning how to tape at bars. I stopped on there for two years because at Turton and Platts it were like three men, a three man team. We've only got a two man team here. We've got to do everything by eye. It's just a matter of setting things up and once you grind it, then if you have any problems, you just adjust it to whatever it wants to be. It's just what you pick up as you go on in life. Same with any job. The more you do a job, the better you get at it. Factory floor in foundries not very good conditions, it's smoke, dust off of grinders, not very good at all. So it's just a bad environment at the end of the day, you've got grinders in there, you've got hot oil which you can smoke off. I've been here like 32 years now, so I was 15 years at Turn and Platt, so I've been in spring trade all my life. You know, I, I started on building site. I only had, I think, two years on building site, and then I come into engineering part of the, uh, making springs. I've been I've been been here ever since. What we do now, most of it, because those barrel mandrels, what we do, we clean them down and I'll put a line on by eye. If you see me do it with that chalk and then I put a white line on with a white marker, measure them. To, if we can try and pitch it along so it's almost even, then when we take all segments out, we've got an even base to start from because we have to set them up a bit longer than they want. So that when they're hardened and they scrag them down, they come back to finish height. I, w I would never, I would never come and live in Sheffield. I like it where I am. It's, it's very rural, and I'm, that's that's where I like. I've done this all my life. I don't know anything different. Nobody can go on forever. We've all got to think about retirement, but uh, we all like a bit of extra money to come to end on it, so... But we'll see how it goes. Whether I'll finish next year or whether I have another 12 months, I don't know, it'll be up to firm or up to me, I suppose, depending on how we go. So, just have to wait and see what happens. I firmly believe we should have apprentices now to follow in footsteps of people who are going to retire. Uh, I don't think it's a skill you can pick up in a year, two years. 
it should be really a proper apprenticeship. There is a big gap. Tom Honkoyle, he's retired and he stopped on another year. Uh, there is some, there is some young workers here, but they don't usually stop long in it. It's not for them. They, they have a go at it, and it's not for them, and they usually move on. I'm not going to retire. I couldn't just stop altogether. But I've had a word with Andrew and uh, Doug that were here, and I think I might start doing three days. You know, probably not do a full week. Yeah, I won't. I won't be able to just sit at home. And, Fortunately, I've never been out of work all my life, you know, started at 15 and I don't think I could just pack in. I like fishing, but you couldn't go fishing every day, could you? I wouldn't like to go six days a week fishing, you know, and I like gardening, but I'd be happy to come three days a week, keep an eye on young and who I've got with me, Jake. My name's Jake, I work at TSL Springs. Young Jake, well, he lives at Maltby. Uh, and he travels all this way every day. Well, he started with me, I think he's been with me three and a half years now, as an apprentice. So obviously he's going to carry on from where I leave off. I learnt it after about a year, and I've picked up pace and flying through it now. It's just how you train people, isn't it, you know? And if he's willing to learn, which he were, he is. I've got everything. I've had to go at tempering, um, whatever that is down there. <laughs> and, uh, and working on line downstairs. I had to go a bit of all sorts, really. When we were younger, uh, you didn't get put on jobs where you could earn bonus. Older men had obviously got families and nobody had big wages then. And they were a bit reluctant to let you go on anything where you could earn any money. So you had to do all more menial side of it, you know. And, but it's good grounding, actually, for learning you because you're not working to a target and trying to rush. Well, my hobby is, yeah. is going to the pub and going to the gym. <laughs> In that order? Yeah. No, gym first, then pub. I wouldn't say it's uh, really, the process is no different to when I started like Jake. You know, because what we make now, we've been making for years and years, some of these springs. Well, which skills are you learning all the time? You know, but all the time you're learning different, different things. You know, with temperatures and uh, like foot wet spraying, you know, mixing paint and that. It's, you know, we, I've worked with Nigel now for about two years, so you get to know each other and family, you know. Makes you wonder where they all go, Oak Springs, because all cars I've had in my life. I've never, ever, ever had to replace a spring. And we made hundreds of thousands of it years, not just me or other men. And it makes you wonder where they all go, doesn't it? Because I've, I've never replaced a spring, never had a broken spring. But I've never actually seen one where they go, you know, gone to a factory and say, oh, I made that spring and that's what it does. Never seen that, no. No. <laughs> 